Hi everybody, in this video we will be talking about the time complexity of the single linked list operations. So let us start with the create list function. When we look at the create list function, there is only one thing that we will do. That is we will initialize the head to null. Initially the list is empty and when you see linked list there is only one member uh, related to linked list that is head. So head we will just make it to null. So when you look at this operation, this operation's uh, time does not depend on any other factors. It, it is not going to depend on how many elements will be inserted. Nothing is like that. Okay. So that uh, time is constant. So how do we represent constant time as big O of 1? Next operation is the SMT operation. So is in SMT what we are going to do is we are going to check whether head is null. And we will return true if head is null and false otherwise. So this operation also does not depend on the number of elements. So it's going to be big O of 1. And then we were talking about the useful operation. But when you look at the useful operation, it is going to actually uh, depend on the memory of the system in which we are going to run the code. right? Uh, because uh, dynamically the memory is going to be allocated. So how much of memory will be available in the heap based on that only your uh, uh, list may become full. right? Uh, but anyway the condition is same when you are trying to uh, dynamically allocate the memory. If memory could not be allocated or the address which is returned is a null then we can conclude that uh, it is full. right? So the time uh, is going to be time taken for checking whether the list is full is big O of 1. Next is we started the insert operations. First we begin uh, with uh, insert beginning operation. So you will insert the new node in the first position. When you look at this particular operation what you will do you will create the node you will place the data in the data, data part and you will make the address of the uh, head to be here. Okay, in the next part of the node and you will make the head to point to the new node. Right? These changes you will make but when you look at it these changes do not need or do not depend on the number of elements in the list. Right? So this operation also is going to have the time complexity as big O of 1. Next is the print list operation what we did. Here what you will be doing you will be having a temporary pointer initialized to the first node you will be printing the data part, move to the next node and so on. You will print till the end of the list, right? So you will be traversing through the list. So the time complexity will be big O of n. Next is the insert end operation. So I have to add the new node to the end of the list, right? So in this case what we were doing, we were having a temporary pointer and uh, moving the temporary pointer till the last node and then we were making this connection, right? So when you look at this operation, the time taken will depend on the number of nodes. Okay? If for example, if, it, if let us assume that uh, it is going to take 1 second to move from one node to the other node. If there are totally 5 um, nodes, then it is going to take 5 seconds. If there are 50 nodes, it is going to take 50 seconds. 500 nodes, 500 seconds. So this operation's uh, time, time taken for completing this operation depends on the number of nodes in the link list okay so it's going to be big o of n and insert at a given position actually when you look at this uh, it depends on the position value and what is the worst case worst case is this position is equal to the last position right i may give for example here there are five nodes if i give the position as six it is equivalent to insert at the end anyway i have to make a traversal i have to start from the first node i have to make a traversal and then I have to insert. So it depends on the number of nodes roughly. Actually this is just an approximation. When you look at this big O notation, um, it will be approximation which will give an idea about the complexity involved. So when we are going to work with large amount of data, whether this algorithm is correct or not, to come to that conclusion only this complexity analysis is introduced. So when you look at here, this particular operation inserted a given position the complexity will be big O of n since uh, the last position may be the uh, worst possible case. And next is delete beginning. So in delete beginning what we will be doing? We will be removing the first node in the linked list. right? So uh, it does not depend on the number of nodes. So it is big O of 1. Delete at the end. Definitely we have to move to last but one node and then only perform the deletion. So the complexity will be big O of n. 
and delete at a given position similar to insert at a position we have to make the traversal in the linked list and depending on the position uh, the complexity in the worst case will be equal to the number of elements in the list so it's going to be big o of n and then locate an element in a linked list right so what we were doing here uh, we will check whether an element is present or not for example 21 if it is present or not basically this is linear search so once again i have to start from the first node and i'll be traversing till i meet the element what i'm searching for so the complexity is going to be big o of n and retrieving an element at a position right once again when positions are involved we have to just have in mind that the worst case can be the last uh, node's position right so the complexity of this operation will depend on the number of elements so it's big o of n find previous element whose previous element we are going to ask for right uh, suppose if we ask what is the previous element of 30 then i have to definitely come till 30 that is still the last node isn't it so the time complexity will be big o of n find the next element similar case when i am asking next element of 21 or if i ask even next element of 30 i have to traverse the entire list so the time taken depends on the number of elements before i make a conclusion in most of the cases it depends on the number of elements in the list so the time complexity will be big o of n destroying the list so when you want to destroy you have to uh, go node by node as we discussed so here also we have to traverse the entire list so the time complexity will be big o of n right uh, so you can uh, just understand uh, the difference between arrays and linked list also in arrays when you see in certain places the time complexity was a uh, big o of 1 for example if you consider insert at the beginning it is big o of n in the case of array here it is going to be big o of 1 whereas if you consider insert at the end for arrays it is big o of 1 but here it is big o of n okay so it's like uh, almost the time complexity is same as i told you uh, in uh, one of the video which i pre previously uploaded right so we cannot bluntly say that this is better for uh, or in some places we, we we might have noticed that they will tell array take less memory when you compare to link list no or link list take uh, less memory compared to array no we cannot come to a conclusion like that the major application of link list is uh, when we do not know how much of memory will be required for the problem to be solved right if it is going to depending on the runtime okay depending on the runtime input if things are going to change then definitely we have to go for link list because we do a be better memory management whereas in the array it will be like fixed i was telling a story also when i was introducing the concept of array and linked list like you are going to book a room in a lodge if you are going to bulk uh, bu do bulk booking for 300 rooms if only 30 uh, guests are going to come then 270 is waste like that when you are going to deal with arrays you must do a prediction this much of memory will be required in some cases that may be a right prediction in some cases it may be wrong like one one of the case may be like you need more memory in that also you will be in trouble in some cases you may require very less lot of memory will be wasted right okay so in those cases we have to decide uh, on the situation on the problem what we are having in hand which type of memory will be or uh, better for the list implementation okay thank you